let's continue um, uh, uh, with our uh, top 10. Uh, and here's a quote, continue to do our research on metabolic disorders, cancer and pain management. That quote is coming from Pankaj Patel, the chairman and managing director of Zyrus Kadila Healthcare. He was speaking to our own uh, Vikas Dandekar and he says that his company's strategy is to develop the molecules in India, get regulatory approval and move into other market, uh, a very closely watched stock. So let's listen in to the big man talking to Vikas Dandekar. We continue to do our research in the area of uh, uh, metabolic disorders and uh, cancer and pain management and we have uh, few molecules which are currently undergoing phase one and phase two studies based on the success of phase two study we should be able to actually guide you more about it but we work on interesting in, in, indications in pain management area in the uh, which is currently IND has filed and also we have uh, other molecules in which has completed phase one and getting into phase two so all these will be uh, our strategy as a company is to develop the molecule first in India, get a regulatory approval, put on the market, and then move into other market. And this is being done in order to make sure that uh, we minimize the risk uh, uh, or, uh, and we don't spend uh, high cost uh, clinical uh, trials outside India to begin with. And once we had reached a success in India, we would then do take such successful molecule only outside India. Right. In terms of Nash, sir, uh, when you do a peer review, where do you think your molecule stands? Do you think it's, it's more advanced than, uh, because we've seen in the last couple of years, lots of companies have gone for uh, deals with smaller companies. Gilead also did one of the deals with a German company. Where do you think your compounds? So companies are between phase two and phase three studies. Right. Right. Uh, uh, the most advanced ones are in phase three study. The other ones are in phase two study. We are currently at phase two and uh, moving towards phase three. So we are a little behind, but we believe we'll be able to catch up okay. because uh, of the clinical experience we already have in India. Right, right. Uh, coming to the immediate operations of the company, sir, this last quarter saw some kind of a, a pressure on the margins, uh, especially in the US. Uh, where do you think we are headed in terms of uh, operational performances of the company? Can you give some kind of a guidance? So I think we as a company do not give guidance, so we would not be able to give guidance. But I think as we are aware that we had some uh, products where we have a sort of exclusivity and the exclusivity was lost. That has resulted to significant uh, degrowth. Mm -hmm. Coupled with that, of course, uh, because of uh, price erosion in the U.S. market in the base business, mm -hmm. plus uh, uh, a temporary discontinuation of supply to of some important product has resulted into this number. We believe one after one more quarter, we should be able to bring back the business into positive growth area. Okay, those are uh, 